Good morning from Big Lagoon, California. I don't know if that's really the name of the town, but it's the name of the campground and the school here, so I think we're probably safe calling it that. We have spent a lovely, if not wet, two days here. Um, we had a couple of reprieves, got to go kayaking a couple of times, Ben did some fishing, um, took the dogs for a couple of walks, and watched it rain a lot. This El Nino storm is big, and I don't know at this point if it's still the El Nino storm, or if this is just normal weather for where we are. It's really hard to say. Um, but I'm going to show you some of the town as we drive through. It's quite lovely. It's more of a village. It is, but really cute little houses. I really like this little yellow one. I'll take it. It has cute little filigree on its leaves, whatever, and it looks like it has a nice view of the ocean from the bedroom. Today, we are going to head towards Crescent City. We're not really sure how far we're gonna go or where we're gonna go, but we're at least gonna go as far as Crescent City. We're going north. We're going north. north and, um, <laughs> and we are gonna stop at this thing called what is it called again? Trees of Mystery. Trees of Mystery. We don't really know what it is. Well, maybe you do. You read about it, it's right? It's a bunch of redwoods and a tourist trap, but it looks okay. really cool, actually. I'm game for redwoods because since we are kind of rushing to get to Eureka for the repairs on the RV, which never happened, um, we completely missed the Redwood Highway. And it just didn't seem like the greatest idea at the time to turn around and go back the 60 miles to drive the 32 miles twice. So that's where we're headed today. I don't know where else we're gonna go after that, but we'll see what's in Crescent City and whether we wanna stay there for a night or not. And I don't feel like paying the camp tonight. You don't feel like what? Paying the camp. As a matter of principle, we paid the camp four nights in a row. Yeah, we deserve a kinda, free night, right? It kind of irks me. Yeah. But we do have a couple options. There's a Walmart in Crescent City, which has people in their lot overnight, but I guess there's a city ordinance that does not allow it, so we do it at our own risk. And there's a casino just up the highway that allows free camping. But we've learned that's not really free camping. No. <laughs> Although I think we broke even. No, we didn't. Hmm? Not after our meals. Oh, well, okay. Meals aside, I think we broke even on the gambling part. It is so pretty in here. I just don't want to take the camera off the road so you can see all of the beautiful trees and everything. We've really enjoyed staying here for a couple of nights and highly, highly recommend site number 25 at the Big Lagoon Campground, and that is not paid for. We just really liked it there. <laughs> it wasn't a free place to stay. We're not giving them a plug. Um, but really beautiful. The you, you could hear the ocean all night, the waves crashing, um, but you had this lovely little lagoon to kayak around in, um, protected from the ocean, and there were lots of little duckies swimming around in there. That site was massive. It was. It would fit the largest, like, motorhome and Absolute trailer. Absolute biggest, wheel, yeah. You truck. could be, I mean, we're, we're what, 40? We're pushing 50 with the ramps. Yeah. So we're almost 50 feet long, and we fit with room, much room to spare. So here we are back at Highway 101, and we'll see where we end up for the day. We pulled over at the Trees of Mystery tourist attraction. You know, with all the fallen trees I've seen today, I don't feel like taking their tram through the trees. And unfortunately, it's raining, so I don't really feel like taking their walking trails. But we're just gonna go take a peek in the gift shop. It's a pretty standard gift shop. Yeah. 
And there's Bigfoot. We're going to get as far as Crescent City and stop. We don't really care what's there or what we can do for the day. The roads are bad. People are driving like crazy people. There's been accidents. We've seen two trees fallen on the road already and tons of debris from other trees. And it's foggy and windy and raining. And the 50 miles we had to drive just already seems like too far. So, God, there's another one. Um, so, wow, it is like darkness in here. Yeah, it is. So, we're going to go as far as, as Crescent City and stop. Look at these trees. They are amazing. So, we have 10 miles to go. And then we're going to stop for the day. It's just not worth it. If we had to be out on the road, Well, now that we've made our way back to civilization and we are in Crescent City, we uh, just magically happened to drive by the cinema. <laughs> so we're going to get a little snack and see a movie because we've spent like five days out in the middle of nowhere and we're ready for a little bit of civilization. So uh, it's still storming like crazy. We're sitting broadside to the wind and we're just kind of swaying. So we're not going anywhere past this town. There's a Walmart just a little farther down this road and we're gonna probably stay there for the night. Uh, just not worth being out on these roads. Um, they're just a mess. So best just to hunker down for the storm. Well, Denny's wasn't quite what we planned on eating, but it will do the job before we go see our movie. Yeah, we had seen a Chinese restaurant that we were going to go for, but the Chinese restaurant was closed, the sushi restaurant was closed, and we're not really feeling the pizza for lunch, so Denny's will do it. We're off again. We just finished up our um, watching our movie. Um, ben tried to get some... Wi-Fi to down to upload some videos for you guys but it was great until he went to download videos or upload videos and then it went to you know where so um, we're back on the road we found a casino a few miles up the road and it has free parking and um, we decided we'd rather spend 30 bucks in the casino having fun than 30 bucks at another RV park <laughs> or campground. I mean, we paid $24 a night for the last four nights for no hookups, just for a dry campground place to park. So yeah, um, we're gonna drive on up there. The storm has calmed down considerably. We're getting occasional gusts and it's still sprinkling, but nothing like when we pulled in here with the raging storm. So, uh, yeah, the movie was excellent. I, uh, we, we went and saw Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. If you haven't seen it yet, highly recommend it. Um, we really like Tina Fey, so that's why we went to see it. But it was almost an out of character movie for her in that it was funny. Um, there was comedic relief, but it was a very serious topic actually with 
a very dramatic aspect to it, and it was excellent. I was highly impressed and quite surprised, because it was a lot deeper than I expected it to be. Uh, anything else, babe? Wish us luck at the casino. Yeah, wish us luck at the 30 casino. 30 bucks is our budget at the casino, because <laughs> we would spend 30 bucks at a campground up the highway. Does that include meals, or...? Well, we're eating in tonight. Yeah, you're right, we are. We already picked up something. Um... Hey, there's a Starbucks. I'm gonna jump out and go, <laughs> go see if they have Wi-Fi for you. Alright, well, um... Seriously? Like... Ben's gonna try to get to the Starbucks. Or not. Uh, I don't have much else to say. It's just your typical Sunday afternoon. Um, we have started talking about... Well, I guess I should preface this a little bit with... We're kind of addicted to this whole traveling all the time thing. And uh, summertime in Alaska will be fine. We go clamming, fishing, hunting, camping. We have family and friends come to visit us. Uh, there's, well, last year we spent 70 days of the summer in our RV to give you a sense of how much we're gone. So we're going to be fine for that. But come next winter, staring at each other, as my friend Josh likes to say, <laughs> sitting around staring at each other across the living room just isn't sounding, well, as appealing as it used to. So, I don't think it ever sounded appealing. You're beautiful and whatnot, but... <laughs> oh, thank you, love. Um, yeah, just, we're starting to think about what we're going to do next. What would you ask them? Yeah, so that's what I want to see what you think. What do you guys think we should do next winter? Um, I mean, it's hard to top seven months around the United States without leaving the country, so... But leaving the country is totally in our realm. It is. I think we could make it happen. I would have to do some maneuvering with... Watch out, they're back. <laughs> We'll edit that out. <laughs> anyway, I think that we could make overseas happen next year. We would need Grandpa to watch the dogs. We would need Grandpa Rod to watch the dogs. So it's something to think about. What do you guys think? Um, let us know in the comments below. And I'm going to leave it at that. Ben has made a U-turn. And we are making a beeline for the Starbucks to upload some more videos for y'all.